As I decrease, increase in me, most holy, precious Spirit of the living God, my God, the Holy Spirit. And the Word of God in 2 Samuel, chapter 22, verses 1 through 4. And it reads, And David, he spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. Somebody give God some praise. And he said, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, the God of my rock. In him will I trust. 
He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior. Thou saveth me from violence. I will call on the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. And I hear the Lord say to me so strongly, as I couldn't post yesterday for he hadn't released me to release a word in our current circumstances and situations. For the spirit of the living God is saying, for I am your shield and your deliverer. And even though I was silent, I saw all the things that your enemies have done. And I witnessed the bondage of persecution, accusations, hatred, and their malicious deeds. They have done to thee. My child, I heard their secret plots and their evil conversations, their wicked imaginations, even to destroy that which I have built concerning thee. And I am he who was and is, and he is to come. Yes, I am the eternal God, your refuge, and underneath you, I am your everlasting arm. I will thrust the enemy from before thee and say destroy them. Great shall be the peace of my people in this hour as the veils of wickedness will be uncovered and the walls of Satan will crumble before your eyes. Justice will be served and my recompense will turn the tide as I execute my righteous vengeance upon the heads of them who refuse my ways. Oh, the thief that came to steal, to kill and destroy will be silenced in your midst, say of the Lord, for an overwhelming sense of rest and peace will come as the torment of the evil men come to its final end. I am bringing you again even the time that I deliver thee for your righteous ones, you righteous ones, my beloved ones, my ones who seek my kingdom and love me and have stood the test of this time. Get ready to enter doors that were previously shut and move forward in the things that I have caused you to go forward in that you could not reach before. I'm moving the boulders and lifting the gates and the bondages will break and you will proceed with my blessings, my provisions, my peace, my protection, and my favor in your very hand. Say of the Spirit of the Living God. Somebody give God some praise. The Holy Spirit is stressing enemies. Don't be surprised if you didn't know some of them was in your own midst. I tell you. The Lord sits up high and looks down low. And in order for us to continue to proceed, we must be delivered from those who hate us. I seal this word inside the power of God, his fire and the blood of the Lamb, his truth. It shall be our shield and our buckler somebody. And I thank him for his faithfulness, for his greatness, for his excellent greatness, exceeding greatness. Glory to his name. 
Somebody praise him. I bind this word into my situation, my husband, our marriage, all of us say this ministry, Kingdom Power Ministries, I and TL dot church, my children, our children, grandchildren, our faithful our subscribers, faithful partners and members and donors, and all the businesses and those who help us all over the world and their institutions, those who give so freely, their rooms, their buildings, their different things that we need, equipment, all of those sound systems, our music team, CD ministry, uh, prayer teams, I'm going to say, you know who you are. We are sealed with this promise on today, for the Lord is breaking through the gate, somebody going before us, sick under the will see. Yes, the anointing of breakthrough, the breaker has come, and it's come over America, and it's come over our country, and it's come over our situations, our private personal matters. God is God. And I bind up retribution and a back, backlash, whiplash and retaliation. We bind it into the fire of God. It shall not come. In the name and the blood of Jesus, glory to God. Like and subscribe, somebody. And those of you peeking on in, trying to see what's going on, you know this is the Holy Ghost. Go on and subscribe and come on in where you can hear and be alerted of what we're doing in Kingdom Power Ministries, I-N-T-L dot church. Glory to God. It's all the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Come along and partner with us, if you will. I always offer partnership because this is what ministry is. Glory to God. Go to www.kingdompowerministriesintl.com and click become a partner, filling out that contact uh, form and scroll down to uh, uh, the donation button and sow your first seed into partnership. Glory to God. And give us time to get that membership packet out. But as soon as you request partnership, you are have become a partner. And we will uh, uh, log in all the necessary information. Glory to God. Those of you who want to sow into this fertile, active, powerful soil of the fivefold ministry, blessing the Lord God and his kingdom who said, let my kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. We are speaking Deuteronomy 111, return over your seeds. We pray over every seed. We honor God and we honor those who help us do what he wants us to do. Hallelujah. Go to www.kingdompowerministriesintl.com and click donations, and there you'll find what avenue you want to uh, what uh, to sow your seed into. And also, there is Patreon where you can become a patron of the Apostle Lester Joy channel. Glory to God. Those of you who are not computer savvy or don't or wish to just write to us, you can send your seeds and prayer requests to Kingdom Power Ministries I N T L dot Church, Post Office Box three eight one zero three four, Clinton Township, Michigan four eight zero three eight. Kingdom Power Ministries I N T L dot Church. Post Office Box 381034, Clinton Township, Michigan 48038. Get ready for the move is on, and we can't stop it if we want it to, for it's the timing of the Lord, the day of the Lord. His people must go forward, His plans, His purpose must go forward. He is God, and He is in the midst. Love you so much. Shalom.